All right, tonight we're here with Tom Malucci, a good friend and a world champion from Star Wars The LCG, and we're going to crack a case. This is Tom's case, so good luck, buddy. Hello. Uh, <laughs> yep. This is my first Star Wars Unlimited product, so we have uh, six boxes. And hopefully we're going to get some nice showcases. I'm just taking that like that. Perfect. You haven't even felt one of these paper packs before. No, I have. Because oh, I've, okay. I've, I've helped Tommy open some of his. Um, but That's right. They just they weren't your own. They were not mine. So and I think out of the five boxes of his that we opened, he he saw the vast majority of the legendaries. So. Okay. Alright. Um I'm assuming we're not gonna go through every common card. Um I think the last common can be hyperspace, and then it's basically oh, hyperspace. The, yeah, it's basically the last three cards in the pack are the. It was uh, hard to see that. Like I didn't even notice that. The ones with with the dark borders are tougher. Yes. All right. So we oh a foil Ezra. I think you killed my foil Ezra earlier. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I did kill a foil Ezra. I'm uh. I'm very much planning on getting rid of every foil. Like, I'll probably just create some kind of uh, grouped post on Facebook and just try to try to ship them all at once. So They bend too much for you? Or... Yeah, I don't like the bend. And I also am a big fan of, like, if I'm... Hyperspace base. Hyperspace. If, if I'm... Like, if I'm going to play Ezra in a deck and I'm going to play three of, I want three of the same version yeah, of it. Yeah, I get you. Uh, at least... For competitive decks, right? Like, um, for practice stuff, that's not necessary. But so no. Oh, this was the hyperspace in the in the pack, and a foil fleet, fleet lieutenant. That's a playable card. Mm -hmm. You get a hyperspace uh, two out of every three packs. Supposed to that's, be the other. That's you, the you breakdown. Don't, you don't okay. get one in every. That's pack. not in every pack. Though. So you've been beating it so far. Nice. Tarkin. Just putting all of those in that pile. Oh, there's a hyperspace in the back of this one. A moment of peace hyperspace. And those there. Gotcha. Donna. Oh, a hyperspace force lightning. Nice. That is not bad. It's gonna uh, make me want to get a whole hyperspace set. <laughs> um, this is a rare. And a foil card. Wow, nice so pack. Two legendaries out of that one pack. And not even in the regular legendaries. Not, not so even. This is a, it's, it's a good box so far. It's like 3.5 legendaries per box. Is that supposed to be? That's about what I opened. Okay. Yeah. I think this is a, yep, this is a hyperspace leader and another hyperspace base. I think the base is right. Like, if you open enough boxes, you're going to have a full play set of those. Yeah, they're, they're not super hard to come by. I think when I added all mine up, I uh, I had a full set of the shields, and I was missing one experience uh, version. Oh, right, okay. Right, so they have the different backs um, on the bases, right? So that's a hyperspace shield. Oh, okay. Got a callus and another oil. Brilliant freighter. Not the most exciting. Not, not <laughs> yeah. Practice. Yeah. It's, it's sealed, it's, it's okay. Yeah. Clinic. Okay. It has been so long since I've like cracked packs for a game. It's uh, kind of exciting. That is, looks nice, but I don't think that's very playable. Sneak attack is maybe okay. And devotion. Sneak attack is one of the cards that I'm trying hardest to break right now. Like, okay, I, I really, I, I feel like, it, it, have you followed, you know, Twin Suns is, right? The multiplayer? Yep. So I feel like the way to win Twin Suns is just a sneak attack redemption. Because then you heal light damage from your base that your your opponents won't see coming as much. Sure. Right, so Maybe do we have many 
ways of returning our own units to our hand. Because like if you sneak attack something in, and then like uh, like Bright Hope, right? Yeah. Like if you like snuck something in and then brought it back to your hand, so you don't defeat it, so you you don't lose the card advantage. It's a good idea. I don't. I don't. Not much else comes to mind. I've mostly been sneaking in uh, Ruthless Raiders, right? Because it has the when played and when defeated. Yeah. So you sneak it in, you deal four damage to units and base. That's fair. That's fair. Ooh, Bosk. He's playable. And a wolf. And this card. We were playing that earlier. Yeah. Cargo Juggernaut. It's, uh, it's decent. I didn't realize that Bosk was uncommon. Yeah. For some reason I thought he was rare. The Inquisitor. Some of these leaders are rare, right? Yeah, that's, that's the a, first that's, rare one that he's got, I believe. Okay. Oh, uh, this card, something says rare in there. Iden? Oh, you, I didn't even realize you've got an Iden. Yeah. Nice. You want those in a different spot? Ah, uh, sure. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Hyperspace Green Squadron. I know that card's played in Sabine, right? Mm hmm. Ghost. Oh, we got the first rare location. I guess we'll put that over there. Foil rare. Foil rare. Bodie. Bodie. Look at an opponent's hand and discard a non unit. Seems pretty good. I don't think many are. People... Oh, it's double yellow. Yeah. That's, that's the problem there. I, I think double yellow uh, is one of. Be more playable, right? Like Bo Boba, Boba can run double yellow and use your foil cunning and your foil body. True. Um, I think all of the double cards are going to get better in future sets too, right? I like, totally agree. Like way, way better probably. So. Totally agree. Mon Mothma. Another ruthless. A Yoda, an Electro Staff, and a Crafty Smuggler. This is really good for the Chewy deck, right? Yeah, it's pretty sweet. So, you know, Chewy becomes a 411 with that, and every time you're swinging in, you're doing one less. I'm a big fan of Wookiees. I haven't solved it, but I really want to do something with Jin and that card too, because you get minus one attack when she's attacking you, right? Uh -huh. Or you get minus one power if you're attacking into something holding an electro staff. Feels like there could be something there. Could be something there, yeah. Force throw. Home one. Oh, that's legendary. Yeah, there you go. Here's our third. And a foil beach tank. Not necessarily the legendaries I want to see, right? But what do you think about this? Is this playable? I like it. Yep. Uh, the... When played ability is strong because you can bring back like an act bar to hit something for four or five damage that late in the game, right? If you have a board, you can bring in a Leia to exhaust a leader or something like that. True. Ooh, a hyperspace confiscate. I don't know how much that card's going to see play. Maybe that's a uh, a sideboard. I think this is a sideboard <laughs> card. A sideboard card. Uh, seventh sister. And a power failure, a foil power failure. Can't say I've played that one before. Oh, I, I, mean, I have had a TIE Fighter with 10 experience on it, so it would be really good against that one. There's 24 packs per box, right? We're not even halfway through this box, and so we've already seen three legendaries, so that's pretty decent. That's hyperspace. That was very hard to see, actually. Yeah, he's one of the harder ones. Uh, that's going here. I expect we'll see all the common leaders as hyperspace from a case, most likely, right? But probably not the rare ones. I think you're probably right. Here's Power of the Dark Side. That card's cool. I've never seen this. <laughs> it's probably bad. But it's foil. It's, it's fun and sealed. Yeah. You know, a lot of these cards, you know, just a, a, any... Decent body on a ship and sealed can be good. That's fair. 
Oh, there's a hyperspace foil in the back. I cheated. <laughs> I have it's, no a, it's a good feeling. Please be like something ridiculous. Chewy? Overwhelming? This thing? Ah, uh, it's a green, green squadron. It kind of has a line through it. That's interesting. Uh, maybe we need a separate pile for it. Is that my, that's my first hyperspace foil, right? It is. It is. Yeah. Um, very usable. Very very playable card. If, if you want to build that, that deck. <laughs> the hyperfoil deck. Oh, uh, no, I'm definitely, nope. I'm not going to build a hyper. I will build a hyperspace deck. I will not build a hyperfoil deck. Okay. But, uh. That could be all kinds of trouble for me. Greedo, Rebel Assault, Fifth Brother, and another one of these guys, and a Homestead Militia. Nothing super exciting in that. Yeah, it was a lamer pack. There's so many more packs, though. So, Do you think the way they designed, there's a rare leader? There's a rare hyperspace leader. Oh, that's, nice. That's Nice. Very I'm going nice. to put that in the hyperspace pile, even though it's rare. I do like how they design the backs. It makes opening them all fun, as opposed to just like flipping to the last card. Yeah, and I like, like, I can see another hyperspace card there. I'm trying not to cheat, but like, my hands are also shaky and stuff. Rally and Cry. That looks really nice. I don't know how good that is, but. Oh, and an aggression! Which I shouldn't be that excited about, because my friend has many of these. There you go. Nice. Oh, and a, a foil power of the dark side. That's cool. That's a very cool card. Should have brought my stuff to trade to try to sneak that <laughs> off of you. The aggression? <laughs> no, the power of the dark side. Oh, the foil power. Yeah. We can go through your decks and figure out what you have. The oh, there you go. There you it's, go. It's uh, a Hera. That's another one of the rare leaders, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, the commons are like not even worth kind of looking at. We're going to get so many of those. Is that card good? Saboteur Raid 2. It's strong. I mean, when it's attacking, it's a Saboteur 4-4. Four, four. Yeah. Uh, it just gets traded into. Redemption. I, every time I see this, I think it's legendary, but it's the other one. Um, home 1. Mm-hmm. Uh, and a common bang fighter. Another sideboard card. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've ever played it in a main deck. But very good as a sideboard card. I, I think I just cheated it again. I think I saw another hyperspace foil. And it's the back card. Um... Yeah, I can see it from here. <laughs> yeah, yep. it's a... Uh... It's doing something back there. Dooku. A foil force choke. A foil uh, hyperspace force choke. That's that's, cool. that's really nice, actually. Doing pretty well so far. I think this pack has the Vader in it though. You think this is the Vader pack? I think so. I would not uh I would not mind. This one's hyperspace, that's nice. There's... I've seen this guy in lists. To be honest, I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's fair. That's fair. I, uh... Looking at him, I kind of agree with you, but I have seen him in lists. Don't get cocky, and a defense walker. Wasn't a beta pack. Uh -uh. Sorry. That's okay. I still, I'm, I'm, you know, I think we have two more legendaries in this, in this, in this box. I'm gonna be greedy. You know, I'm all for it. What I want to see is that showcase, right? Like, Piet. Remember the Piet playmat that we got? <laughs> I do. <laughs> I play with it every once in a while. Oh, that's in my pile of like, I have not played on that thing. But I uh, think I break it out when I play Thrawn. I don't really have a Thrawn. I don't have a good Thrawn playmat. 
I might have a playmat from Destiny that had Thrawn on it. Okay. Uh, I don't remember. Another hyperspace foil. Sorry, I keep spoiling it. <laughs> it's really hard to keep that a secret. It, yes, it really is. Especially with my, like, shaky hands. Oh, we got the card with the best art in the game. Bamboo <laughs> Oh, uh, there's, there's a Falcon. Nice. And a Mining Guild TIE Fighter. So that's just normal. So three. So, I mean, we're already up legendary-wise from this box, but we've got five more packs. Could be one more. Could happen. Ooh, there's a Hyperspace Boba Fett. That's really nice. Wing leader, shoot first, Got that. and another foil rally and cry. Didn't I already get a foil one of those? Yeah, I think so. Or no, I got a hyperspace one of those, I think. Is that what it was? Yeah. I think it's, yeah, you're right. I think it's maybe not the greatest card in the world. <laughs> yeah, I mean. You have to have multiple units stay alive after you play it. <laughs> yeah. Right now, it just doesn't really happen. It's it's pretty rough, yeah. It could be, like, okay in a deck where, like, you get... Like, you plan on not having initiative because you're just taking a ton of actions. That's kind of cool. That's a, another playable card. Right? Mm -hmm. space. Um, so, like, if you're, if you're playing it in a deck that, like, takes so many actions that you're expecting the opponent to have claimed by the time you play it, but still pretty... Obi-Wan. Hey, this card. Friggin' could not get rid of that card. Earlier today. <laughs> Obi-Wan's an amazing card. He is in the starter decks. So oh, is he's, he? Yeah. He's a little okay. less interesting to pull. That's fair. But I ended up with six of him, and I wasn't mad about it. Got another Cassian? Rare leader. Because uh, I don't really like swapping cards back and forth in decks. So to have... Two play sets of Obi Wan. I was just fine with. Well, hopefully, ooh, that's really nice. Hyperspace True Strike. That card's playable. Maybe. I don't know. It's pretty good. We got another hyperspace in here. A hyperspace Ezra. All right. Cool. Treacherous. And it binds all things. Another rare foil. Nice. Oh, that's your uh, turret card. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Very fun in turret. I think um, potentially also fun in Grand Inquisitor because you know you're dealing damage to your units, and then you have a force. What I, I don't know that I've actually read Grand Inquisitor. So his thing is that he can uh, deal two damage to one of your own guys with three or less power to ready it. Oh, okay. so first turn you can play a unit and swing for two. Yeah, that's you know? that's pretty nice. Oh, you're my only hope. Rare. Hyperspace. So that took an uncommon slot. Yep. Then we get a palp and a maximum foil firepower. All right, last pack of this box. The hyperspace leader, a Leia. I do like that, that there's like the wild card slot in the, the third uncommon. Where you can kind of roll up. Yeah, it's a sweet way to do it. Oh, a foil bosk. That's cool. Nice. All right, that's a pretty decent first box, at least for legendaries. Some of these cards were really cool. Already seeing one of the rare hyperspace is nice. Um, do you want to take some of this off the mat? Yeah. We'll okay. leave we'll leave the legendaries kind of like in the on the side, but I'll stack them up. I'll start sorting over here. Sure. You want me to take uncommon too? Yeah, that's fine. Just whenever the piles get a little too big, it's fine. We can kind of go through stuff later. All right. Next box. All right, 
So we need some Bobas and some Vaders. <laughs> that is my goal here. So I just want those two cards, really. All right, Castro City, Hyperspace, nice. Where was I putting things? Commons were going right there. i got to move those. All right. Ooh, Bright Hope. I think that's the first one of those that we've seen. And another Foil Ezra. So I think we've gotten uh, two Foil Ezras and a Hyperspace Ezra. <laughs> I think you have. <laughs> Are you not that excited to see Luke? Uh, I'd be happy with Luke. I don't think he's as good as the other two right now. Yeah. But like, I think he'll be very playable in the future. So yeah, I'd be. I guess in general, like if I'm if I'm committing to getting a full playset and I'm just buying the pieces, right? Then I want to yeah, yeah. just get the the most expensive, hopefully. But there's a hyperspace fleet lieutenant that looks really nice. Relentless. Ooh, a foil wing leader. Nice. Very cool. It's actually interesting that you it seems like you get more you get more foils than hyperspace, like you were saying hyperspace is two out of three, right? So it would actually be easier to build a foil. It is set. easier to build a foil than a hyperspace yeah. set. That's unlucky because I want a foil set. I mean I want a hyperspace set. Uh, we got another hyperspace foil in the back. Okay. Oh, Vigilance is a legendary. And mm, swing and a miss. Swing, <laughs> swing, swing and a miss. Got excited. But we got a legendary. I I actually think that like all four of the the like the faction based legendaries, like the named ones, they're I think they're all gonna be very playable, like at some point. Um I like them all except for aggression. Really? In my mind, cunning is so much more powerful than the other three, and I think vigilance and command are way more powerful than aggression. That's fair. It can, uh, in Aiden, this is basically like defeat a unit and heal six from your base. <laughs> <laughs> It's strong. <laughs> it's actually really weird that aggression doesn't have a defeat a unit. Well, it has deal four damage, which is effectively defeat a unit, probably. It's yeah. yeah, it's close. I wish it was draw two cards. If it was draw two cards instead of draw one card. That would probably be better. Uh we got another one. Another hyperspace foil. Bam. Greedo. All right. That's not bad. I don't know that people, like, if people would be more excited about this or the foil version of, like, the promo. I don't like the promo's border, like, the, because it has, like, that, like, blurred border. Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, we got another hyperspace leader, it looks like. A uh, Sabine. I think right now people are more excited about the promo, but I feel like that should will change as the promos become more available. That's fair. Yeah. Making an opening. I'm making an opening. Horses with me. I'll maneuver. You're my only hope. Hey, a foil Tarkin town. Cool. That's kind of nice. The foil bases are cool. Put that over there. I only got one. I got the blue rare the foil shield base. one. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and it was pretty sweet. I ended up trading it away for a legendary, which I was perfectly fine with. Yeah. I got a second uh, Dagobah Swamp there. That's a hyperspace. Okay. 
there's a full art veers and a foil snow speeder. My first game of constructed ever. I sat down across from my opponent and he had a showcase Iden and a foil hyperspace ECL. <laughs> like, okay. Okay. <laughs> and did he like crack those or is he just instantly buying stuff probably? No, I think he cracked them both. Oh, that's that's pretty cool. Vince Walker. Another one of these great bamboozles. Spark of Rebellion and a foil chewy. It's kind of funny, like I I feel like I'm happier not like seeing no legendary than bad legendaries. Like I yeah. my brain says, okay, well there's still legendaries in this box somewhere. We just have to find them and hope that they're not bad. <laughs> um Although in reality, if I'm gonna try to get a playset, like I need them all anyway. Yeah. Oh, there's another rare location and a pre precision fire. But well, if you're gonna get a playset, you could do it a couple hundred dollars cheaper if you crack if the I, right one. If I crack the right legendaries, <laughs> correct, exactly. So, and just like pull invaders is. Great. That would be very, very exciting. I'm a big fan. All right. Bam. Oh, that guy again. The roof. That's a foil Jawa. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think that's seeing much play. No. Nope. <laughs> but we didn't use a legendary. Oh, another hyperspace boba. I think we already had one of those. Gamorian guards. Nice. A force throw. Hyperspace force throw. That's nice. Oh, there nice. it is, baby! Well done. All right, can we do the double? Ah. No. <laughs> Just for context, by the way, my friend opened two Vaders in one pack, so it is possible. That's still a great pack. That is hey, absolutely yeah. great. Yeah, that force throw is beautiful. The Vader's great. Well done. One down, two to go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, another Iden. Uh, you know, if I run into some locals that don't crack a full case, that might be tradable. So far, I haven't had any luck trading... Any of the leaders? R rare leaders away. Yeah, that's fair. Heroic Sacrifice and a Recruit. Foil Recruit. Right, that's halfway through the box. I'm actually perfectly fine with this half of the box so far. We got a Vader. I mean, if you get a Vader in a box, the box is done, right? You're good, technically, right? Yeah, I mean... I mean, unless you're at the point where you already have your full playset and you're getting no value out of anything else. Right? You, you will probably get duplicates of multiple legendaries, right? Yeah. Unless you get very unlucky. Did it again. Hyperspace foil. Um, ooh. Uh, hyperspace Wampa. I love the Wampa from Star Wars LCG. Like, that was such a fun card. Or a fun pod. Oh, the U-Wing. I know you like that. A snapshot reflexes. That's kind of nice. Is this good? Yeah. The attack? Uh, I think in so most it's, decks it's not really worth the slot. Yeah, because it's it's effectively like a permanent... It's like an event that just says attack and get plus one, but it's permanent, right? Like Basically. Yeah. Yeah, that is probably not worth the slot. Oh, we got a chopper base. So there are multiple different 30 health locations for each color, right? That's just pure, like, um, right. cosmetic, right? Like, like there's... Right now it is. I assume at some point we will get a card that says, like, that, that if, the if you, you know, gets plus one power for every Death Star card you have or something sure, like that, right? Sure. And then so your base will count. The traits will matter eventually. That's fair. Yeah, right now it's 
It's nothing. Another Electra Staff. Okay. And a rare foil fallen lightsaber. That's cool. Yeah. I think the there's like a couple Sabine cards, like rares that I haven't seen yet, right? We have seen no red threes, no K twos. Yeah, or four cause I believe in. Yep. Those are all some of like the most expensive rares too, so but there's plenty of time for that. I like the trooper deck, so like this is cool to me. Um I don't think it's the most competitive deck, but like the the snow trooper lieutenant is nice. Han Solo. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Really? All right. Yeah, I think the trooper deck's a fun one to take to casual, you know, weekly, you know, teaching somebody how to play kind of thing. Guido Bright Hope, fifth brother. I had no choice. A protector. All right. We've had better packs. <laughs> We've had better packs. Um, we're, like, we should definitely see one more legendary, I'm hoping, here. Um, I mean, we got five in the first one, so. But getting low on the packs to, like, for me to feel guaranteed to get another legendary. And there's a wedge and a foil wampa. I don't think I've opened a box that only had two. Two, yeah. It might be able to happen. I'm assuming it's rare with the with the like bonus slots that can upgrade to legendary, like mm -hmm. um, uh, hyperspace command center. Deb. Oh, we got the Mace Windu. That's not the one you want to see, I don't think. <laughs> and a, a foil metal ceremony. Um, I talked to a friend that opened a case and got four Mace Windus. And <laughs> Jeez. He was not super happy about that. I'm actually surprised that they announced, too, that there's like a, game, a kit that he's going to come out of. Yeah, he's going to be at the prize at the store showdowns. And so everyone in the top eight gets one. The top four get another one, the top two get another one, and the champion gets another one. So if you win a store showdown, you literally get four hyperfoil that... mace windus. Okay, so they, they basically just completely trashed his value. I think he's basically like a, a rare. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Don't We don't want any more of you. Sorry. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Uh, hyperspace Chewy. Oh, cool. And... Yeah, it's a little funny to me that they would pick a legendary to be the promo. Like, that is, yeah, that seems like like you do it with the rare, or or they could have even picked like foil common bases because there are no foil common bases. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's true. That's interesting. If there's no foil common bases, that then that means like technically getting a full foil set isn't possible, right? So they probably will figure out a place to put those at some point. I would assume that we get a way to get those. I mean, you can get the foil rares bases, right? So you can still have a full foil deck. Oh yeah, for sure. But, but yeah, not a... Not technically a complete set in foil. Jedi lightsaber. Oh, there's, there's another hyperspace foil that's kind of wasted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I'll sometimes throw those into... Uh, like a double blue Chewy or a double blue Aiden oh, deck. There's a hyperspace her. There you go. Nice. So they're playable, but barely. I, I don't think that they're terrible. Uh, 
But the, 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 there's two, so many... the, two, the two attack is not great because it's not actually killing anything. Yeah, there's so many you. other cards that are Sentinel that are 3 4s or 4 3s or yeah. even 3 3s. Like, yeah. I think by next set he probably becomes relevant. Yeah. Rugged Survivors? Oh, that's cool. Hyperspace Dooku. Nice. Uh, knowing that like cards like that are in the starter, it's like they should be exciting to see a Palpatine, right? And then it's like... Yeah, it's definitely less exciting because you know you're getting it. But, I mean, you still want to play set. Yeah, fair. Uh, and I don't, I don't want to buy. You only get one in the starter, right? Yeah. I think your rares are Palpatine, Relentless, the green capital ship, uh, On, and Obi Wan. <laughs> <laughs> That's interesting. Double Emperor's Legion. Last pack of this box. There's no chance. The Vader was great. Aside from that, it's been been a disappointing box. Yeah, I agree. I mean, I know I need the vigilances, so like that's at least some value of not having to buy, but it's it's pretty light value. And another rare base and the foil ship that I'm not going to play. So. Yeah. We got the Vader. That's the important part. Mm -hmm. We'll take another box like that first one. <laughs> <laughs> yes, except for with... Except with a showcase this time? A showcase and Boba's and more Vader's. <laughs> <laughs> I learned from my past mistakes. I'm going to leave you, you know, one or two oh. in the pile so that you... Sure. You still have them. You don't have to reestablish. Like, where was I putting these? Where, where are these things going? All right, box three. Here we go. Thrawn. He might have been one of the last rare leaders I was missing, right? Are there six of them or eight of them? There's a rare leader of each color uh, in each side. So there's eight, yeah. You're still missing quite a few, actually. But I have, I have Hera and Han also. Oh yeah, you have Han in there. Yeah. yeah. So it's just those two, Hera and Han. Yes, yeah, so you haven't pulled Shurik yet. Uh, Palpatine. That's it. Shurik and Palpatine are the only leaders. Where are the leaders you're missing? All right. I see a hyperspace. Hyperspace Redemption. That looks nice. Ooh, that's a cool card. An Obi Wan. And another Foil Han. I think we had a Foil Han. That would have been an amazing pack to crack for sealed. <laughs> you would have just been playing a blue yellow hero deck. Oh my regardless god. Regardless of what else you picked yeah, up. Obi and Redemption and Han. That's that's true. Imagine like rate each pack on how good it would be if you got it in sealed. Right. Treacherous and a foil tie fighter. I'm sorry to anybody that's watching this. I don't know that I'm holding my hands in the right place. <laughs> so if you're not always getting a good view. Uh, my bad. There's a hyperspace Chewy and a hyperspace Kestra. And entrenched and Alpatine. And a hyperspace foil Wampa. Nice. <laughs> You've gotten a bunch of special Wampas. I, I, I think I've gotten all three variants. Now I got a foil one, I got a hyperspace one, and I got the hyperfoil one. There you go. When I said earlier that I like Wampas, I also really like Boba Fett and Darth Vader. <laughs> 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 Got 
at him. You know, uh, just clarify. Just, just to make sure that the you know the RNG gods are familiar. Hyperspace resupply. That's playable. And on lightsaber. And force surrender. I think it's I think it's niche, but I think it's fun. If, yeah, reading it, it's it's very expensive. But discarding two cards in this game could be pretty busted too. Like when you get to the point where you have six resources, like usually you don't have that many cards left in your hand. Right. We were joking earlier about card game players not reading cards, and that was the uh, that was the card I'm most guilty of because it says you can sacrifice it to let a unit attack, but it can't attack bases. And I built a whole deck to make a Voltron Chewie that could you know attack four times for you know 45 damage on base, and then I realized it didn't work because <laughs> the card doesn't let you attack bases. That's fair. I mean, one of the first times. Uh, my buddy tried to activate ambush. He tried to attack my base, and I'm like, "Did you read ambush?" Uh, doesn't doesn't do that. Yeah, that's a that's a common one. This is a relentless and spec force soldier. Almost halfway through this box. No, uh, no legendary pulls yet. And there it is, the Vigilance. I had to say something. It's a good one. It is. I'm okay with that, as long as it's like this, followed up by Vader. Perfect. Ooh, Hyperspace Krennic. Oh, well, he's common, but still. Nothing super exciting there. This guy's interesting. The ability to affect the cost of your opponent's events, but I don't know that some decks just play like no events, right? Like Yeah, I mean green plays a ton of units, not many events. I mean if you can Yellow is playing if, events. If, if you yeah, if your opponent's planning to play a resupply, you know, to ramp into their leader earlier and you can force that back a turn, it can be that's true. Be good. Good fast. Playable. I think Vigilance, even though I like cutting the best of the double aspect cards, I really do enjoy Vigilance because uh, I think it's the most playable in the most decks right now. So like, if you're playing cutting, you're probably just playing it in Boba. Mm -hmm. Vigilance, you can play an Aiden or a Chirrut or Luke. Uh, and you're saying you just pay extra for or it? Krennic. Or you're just no, or like, you're playing like I think I think you can build a true, you know, two blue. Uh, <laughs> we already had one of those? <laughs> Another foil Boa. A true, like a double blue deck? Yeah. yeah. My, my double blue Aiden deck is uh, very fun. I've been playing it quite a bit. And I'll routinely heal like 18 damage <laughs> in a game. Uh, because, you know, like that heals for basically six, right? You just need that and a couple of the cargo juggernauts and you've healed for 18. <laughs> sure. True. And there Hyperspace uh, Surprise Strike is very playable. A hyperspace foil repair. Does Chariot play that? Or is it still not good enough? It uh, I don't I don't think I have it in my chariot deck. Yeah. Uh, and that's probably the best place for it. So if it's not going there, it's not probably going into constructed. Probably. Yeah. It could actually go in a chewy deck because Chirrut 
it's a force unit, right? So you can play, it binds all things to heal uh, three and deal three. But Chewie doesn't have access to it as much. That's true. And a Fister. And a foil takedown. That's nice. Cool. It's honestly not a bad card to sideboard in against aggro decks, too, just because like sometimes you can play a body. Speak of. There is. And sneak a repair in. Yeah. I don't know how much Twin Suns you're going to play either, but... Ah, uh, zero. Ah. <laughs> More Bodhi. That's a nice foil. Twin Suns, though, is, a, you know, you can only have one of each card. So you uh, definitely start playing cards like Repair. Right here. <laughs> and, and again, sure. right, like, you can sneak out a win with it. Sure. Because it's healing your base. Yeah, I mean, it is something that, like, at the right event with the right group of people, I could be convinced to play, but it's not something that I am super interested in doing on, like, a regular basis, right? Yeah. I don't know that I've ever even seen that card. So. <laughs> You've probably gone through eight of them, but they're not exciting. That's fair. Are they common? Yeah. yeah so I've just ignored them. Anything neutral is probably... Not super exciting. Though I do wonder if there's a vehicle deck at some point. Because vehicle or space? Like a, just... a vehicle deck. Because this thing, you know, a 3-5 ambush for 4, that's decent, mm -hmm. right? Um, I, have, I have not tried to build the vehicle deck yet. <laughs> Where are my legendaries? It looks like they all fell to the bottom on this one. That does seem to be the case. Ooh, there it is. That's nice. Super laser? He's playable. I basically so just to get excited when these hyperspace cards are playable. That's, yeah. that's all I really care about. It's a good one. Used in a <sighs> multitude of decks, that's for sure. This guy is way too expensive. Well, like his effect... I don't know. I don't think that card gets play. Yeah, I mean, it suffers from the fact that... Uh, Avengers 9. <laughs> yeah. yeah. One more dollar and it's a way better card. We're getting dangerously close to a one legendary box here. I believe. Part of the cards. Part of the cards. I, I believe too, but... Um... Ooh. Another rare and a hyperspace foil ozzel. He's cool. If you have initiative, you can basically tap him to play a ready imperial. Oh, that's fair, right? Yeah. Because your opponent can't respond to it. They, yeah. Electro Staff and a Foil Dooku. Sometimes you can bait your opponent into taking initiative early just to prevent that from happening. So you can score some extra value. With Ozzel, yeah. I think he's just kind of hurt by the fact that right now I think Red Villain is the weakest aspect. <laughs> yeah. There's one of those Guardians hyperspaced. And there's an aggression. This is that one was hyperfoil. Hyperfoil. 
That was that was a disappointing pack to see a hyperfoil consular security force in a legendary slot eaten by aggression. Yeah. Alright, turn well, it we around. Have, we have three packs left. This and two more for this box, so. A redemption and a foil underworld thug. Space Command Center. That ship in your deck earlier? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the one. Another Dooku. And a foiled cannon. Alright, this pack decides whether this is a two legendary box. This is there's a lot of pressure on this pack. Yeah. This is uh... Well, not yeah. a not a showcase. Bad start. Not a, not a <laughs> showcase. Oh, I almost put the base in the wrong place. This is my face right now looking at this box. Nope, it's a two legendary box. Ugh, that is gross. Really bad. Sorry, man. All right. It let's, is what uh, it is. Let's turn it around with this one. Yeah, so far these legendaries, like, other than the one Vader. Oh, we got a Falcon. Have you gotten rare... Hyperfoils yet? I don't know. No. You're two boxes in with no rare or legendary hyperfoils. No showcase. I think you've got some good stuff left to open. Hopefully. Here's a foil ghost. I do wonder if the foil specters will be popular just because a lot of people like the characters who yeah. would also like foils. We have a hyperspace foil on this back. Let's hope it's a legendary. Nope. Rook. He's the common. I think it's a playable common. But yeah, common. it's it's good. The odds of a hyperfoil rare or legendary, I believe, are one in three boxes. Or one in two boxes, I mean. So theoretically, you should open three. Interesting. Hyperfoil rares or legendary. This guy needs to go away. <laughs> I also think you have a play set of foil gladiator service strikes. Yes. <laughs> I've still seen... Which zero red threes, all three of those red cards from the uh, Sabine deck. Yeah, you have not opened a single one. Yeah. Another one of these. I think I already had one. And another one of these. The foil the think, foil ship. I think that's your fourth or fifth galactic ambition too. Which is arguably the worst rare. In the set. Awesome. It just keeps piling on. This dude's good. Oil out maneuver. If we need to, we can always just go, you know, stop the recording it's once you open Vader and be like, that's it. We, uh, we're so excited. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just, just one Vader. We got four more. Trust us. Bosk. And... 
Gotta get it. All right, showcase time. So we're gonna fight. At this point, I just want to start seeing some more legendaries, let alone a uh, hyperspace rare, hyperspace rare, normal rare, foil rare. Three there. It's triple rare, rare pack, but. Was that the Cassian pack too? Or was that. No, Krennic? that was Krennic. Okay. Alright, here we go. Rare is not the best card in the world, but. It does look cool. It looks very nice, yeah. Another Electro Staff and another Siege Tank. I think, including foils now, I definitely have a play set of Electro Staffs. Yeah. On. Ooh. Hyperspace Vanquish. Looks nice. That's cool. Another aggression. That's number three. Okay, no more aggressions, please. Especially since, like, the one local buddy of mine pulled four aggressions. Right. So. And that was four aggressions in five boxes? Yeah. 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 Redemption out of that one. Oh, you left a hyperspace in here. Oh. Yeah, that's one of the darker ones. Yeah. I missed it. I was hoping you were about to say you left a legendary in here. <laughs> Sorry. It's like... I don't think you'll miss that. I don't think so either. ISB. Another Dugu. That's nice. Oil hyperspace cell block. Oh, that's just a good one. Don't get cocky and a homestead militia. Not your best pack. No. No. It was funny how this uh, how this all came together. I haven't seen you for what five years? Six, six years. It's been a while. Yeah. And uh, it just so happened that we were talking about this game. And uh, it turns out I had no idea where you lived. And I was going to be 10 minutes away for three days. Yep. It was, uh, it was very random. Especially the way that conversation went. <laughs> Finds all things. And a foil wedge. Oh, that's cool. Star Wars bringing people together since, you know, 1977. There it is. Every time I see a hyperspace uh, leader, I get jabated into, like, is this the, is this the showcase? Nope. Another wedge and another precision fire. As someone who's opened one entire showcase i think it jumps out as you as much as the hyperspace foils at the back <laughs> yeah okay <laughs> you'll know <laughs> fair enough is he rare oh, oh yeah. yeah he's rare oh yeah wait so is that the no i'm still missing palpatine yeah yeah you still have an open palpatine a hyperspace recruit That's Fire Spray. That's the first one of those. There you go. 
and a foil credo. I think that might be the card aside from those, the rare aside from those red ones that's going for the most. Yeah, the fifth fire for fire spray. I particularly find that one funny when people call it Slave One Online. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it was called Slave One for a very long time. Yeah, so. that's, that's how I knew that ship. Oh, there's a super laser blast. Not the, not the best, but at least hopefully, I mean, we have only seven packs left of this box, so if I get another two legendary box, it's going to feel real bad. I would be surprised. You'll never have me over to your house again. <laughs> no, I mean, I, I, uh, luck, I know, um, like, one of my buddies, he opened a pack, and it had three legendaries in it, like, all three slots. Oh, there's, there's our first red three. Okay, okay. And then that. <laughs> Not even, yeah, yeah. The night started out well. I mean, this is what, like, your fourth or fifth pack where you got both of those? Yeah. Boba. Not the right one, but it's a boba. Akbar. That might be my first Akbar also. I think it is. That card. I think Akbar is fun in a lot of decks. Yeah. There's a lot that want to build with green. Got a hyper, a couple hyperspaces near the back here. Oh, there's <laughs> more snapshot reflexes. Yep. All right. Hopefully this one upgraded. Nope. It's an Ezra. We love that card. And a Callus and a Wampa. <laughs> oh my God. We call this the Wampa Ezra aggression box. The case. The hyperspace Jin. Attack and foil you learn. Oh, that's cool. I have not studied the exact drop rates for like commons versus uncommons, rares in the you know foil slots. Mm -hmm. But it does seem like you get a lot more commons than the rest of them. I think that's our second wolf. He's a good one. He shuts down Aiden pretty hard. He's another one of those uh, um, sideboard cards, right? Yes, I think sometimes he's worth playing in a main deck. I mean, a 3-2 that you can play on turn one. Sure. So he's not a rebel. Which hurts him a little bit. Another one of the rare locations. And a foil spark of rebellion. That's rare. Yep. You got to see how good that was earlier tonight. Uh, you did get it a couple a couple real good pills on me, yeah. Uh. This is the last pack of this box, so if this isn't a legendary, it's another two legendary box. The home one. Okay. It's uh Saved it. still a pretty bad box, yeah. but I mean I guess this box did start, like, I got the first Fett's Fire Spray and the first Red 3, but, like. Yeah, we're still looking. No Fett's, no Luke's. One Vader. One Vader. One Falcon. Three Aggressions. I mean, there's always going to be that one Legendary that you just get a bunch of, but, like, why can't it be the Vader? Right. Never the Vader. All right, box number five, also known as the showcase box, <laughs> <laughs> hopefully. Oh, missed another hyperspace. Very cool. <laughs> I mean, it does look cool. I don't know if it's good, but it looks cool. 
Uh, some people do use it in their Sabine and Leia decks. I've gotten at least three foil siege tanks. Can't say I've run that in many no. decks. We definitely have a hyperspace foil at the back. It is an uncommon Rogue Squadron Skirmisher. I think that's another one that sometimes people put in their decks. Feels a little overpriced. Hey, we got Palpatine. All right. Not probably worth that much excitement, but it was the last one. Our second one of those. I mean, a uh, hyperspace sneak attack. There's a falcon. Nice. Falcon number two. I think falcons like the fourth. Most expensive. Highest. Yeah. I think it's Luke. Luke is third. Boba, yeah. or, or Vader, Boba, Luke, Falcon. Bail Organa. When I saw that card, it was like after I played a couple games with Tarkin in like a limited pool. <laughs> and I was like, wait, there's a one drop that just has Tarkin's ability? Yeah. And that kind of felt bad. And it's like less limited too, right? It's any friendly unit. It doesn't have to be like a rebel. Granted, he just gets blown out the board, but... Um... Will be on and a homestead militia. Yeah, I don't know many times when people wouldn't just kill him. Did you say Obi Wan was starter deck? He is. Yeah. Yeah. Got a lot of him too. Score to skiff. Another treacherous and a foil. Fleet Lieutenant. Just for posterity's sake, it's traitorous. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's, that's fair. That's fair. I don't know that it will ever matter. There is a card. Traitorous. You know, yeah. Regional governor makes you name a card that your opponent can't play. <laughs> and, you know, I would never be that guy who was like, no, you, you said you didn't say traitorous. But yeah, that's that's a different card. <laughs> I mean, it's not a card that exists, but it's different. Hey, there's a horse is with horses me. Well, not a. It doesn't feel like it's improving, to be fair. Uh, need some bobus. Well, we got a hyperspace foil. It's rare. rare. Not. Oh well, that is that playable. No. I I don't know. I don't know. I, none of the top techs are running it. I think it's fun. Yeah. Right. Uh. I I lived the dream the other night where I put the. Is it the hard point? Laser or something? I don't know. You open one, I'll find it. Um. It's an attachment that gives it plus two, plus two. And when you attack, you get to deal two damage to something in the Defender's Arena. Hardpoint Heavy Blaster. Oh, uh, yep. Yeah. And that's just real fun. <laughs> For you, not the other person. <laughs> very, very, uh, <laughs> very destructive. Yeah. That's good. Another Relentless. The Hyperspace Foil System Patrol Craft. I like that card. Yeah. It feels like another one of those, like, it might get outclassed in the future, but, like, for now, it's good. Yeah. There aren't a ton of great A-Wing answers. That one is one of the few cards that, you know, you can play fairly early. <laughs> There's the play set of Vigilance now. Yep. Oh, 
And a oh, nice. Same pack. Nice. All right. That helps. That's something. Like, I'm honestly not even looking at the comments at this point. But. Yeah, I don't think you need to. I'm over here sorting them for you. <laughs> True. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. I got you. Hopefully it'll make deck building later easier. Yes. I, I for sure would end up sorting them. So... Definitely saving me time. Oh, there's a bib. Hyperspace. I've seen a lot of that card too. You're my only hope. That one's interesting. I uh, messed around a little bit with like a Thrawn deck that played that out of aspect for five just to try to play devastator for free off the top of the deck interesting <laughs> and it didn't it hasn't panned out yet but as we get more and more you know deck manipulation cards maybe it gets more interesting true i mean it's probably a card that you want to be playing with uh you need r2 right like R2 or 3PO still lets you look, or Ezra still lets you look at the top card. True. Or a cause I believe in can let you arrange cards on the top. So there's, there's ways to help line it up. Just playing stuff for free is pretty amazing. True. Minus five is less exciting. Spark of Rebellion. Another foil power of the dark oh. side. That's cool. Two of those. Another item. Yeah, I'm opening way more of those rare leaders than I expected, so I, I see... Ooh, there's a hyperspace uh, Seventh Sister. Nice. Yeah, I think, I think the hyperspace rare leaders some people will be interested in, but... Uh, yeah. I don't know, the regular ones are... There's a kid in the store. I might just uh, give here. it to them. Yeah. <laughs> this homestead militia is eating up so many of my foil slots, man. I think it's a little underrated, uh, just because it, it's fairly easy to get to six resources in green. Yeah, and a three-four sentinel is not bad. It's not really what you usually want to see at six. You're usually looking for bigger things. Yeah. Hey, there we go. Nice. Vader number two. And a foil rare. This box is making up for one of those two. Bad, yeah, one of the two bad boxes, but we still have a lot of ground to cover here in just under a box. Like, I wasn't expecting... Uh, the showcase, but like I was really hoping to at least walk away with three Vader or Bobas, right? And like seeing no Luke either is just very uh not great. Oil maximum firepower. I I like the first night we played this game with a limited card pool. I was destroying my buddy with that card. <laughs> um, This is probably why I'm missing hyperspaces, because I'm skipping the commons so quickly. So. I think it's always in the last common slot, if there is one. 
Another U-Wing reinforcement. That card's so good. Just look it, at the top 10 cards for basically whatever you need right now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and it's really good with that card that the like how many cards you've played this turn card. Getting that yes. thing to be a 4 4 was troublesome multiple times for me. So, another Electro Staff. It also lets you. Uh, play out of aspect cards, right? So, like, even if you're not playing blue, you can throw Luke in the deck, and you can pull Luke as long as he's in the top ten. True. He does not cost nine; he costs seven. I need to get some more of these uh, legendary upgrades in these other slots, but. Like, only one hyperspace and zero hyperspace foil legendaries? Yeah. I think you've only had one rare hyperspace foil. This last pack, by the way. And swing and miss. So, good box for sure, but, uh, Still a little behind where yeah. I want to be. So yeah, we need we this need another it. box, at least that good. That's a uh, hopefully not the showcase pack. <laughs> I'll leave that one right there. <laughs> you know, open that one first or yep. last? Oh, first. <laughs> first, okay, yeah, sure. Showcase near mint. <laughs> <laughs> near mint. <laughs> Not hyperspace. I mean, not a showcase. So that's good. That's the first one of those I've seen too. Krell. He's pretty fun in a uh, Palpatine or Tarkin double green. Okay, there's a foil red three. Not bad. That's that's good because uh, I think that's the second one of those. I've still seen zero K twos. And for a cause of leaving. Oh. And only one fits fire spray. I think you have a play set of seven sisters. Uh, for sure. <laughs> Sadly, I probably have a play set of every other rare except for the. <laughs> Four most expensive ones. You have a play set of Rook. Maybe two. I press a snow speeder. Oh, great. That guy again. Foil Canaan. That's nice. I think that's your second Foil Canaan. Are you the pilot? I'm the pilot. <laughs> <laughs> Did you like Rogue One? I liked it. It wasn't my favorite. Like, people that, like, think it's, like, at the top, top, top of the list, yeah. I, I don't agree with that, but... Um, oh, this one, again. I don't know that I've seen many of him, either. He's a rare. Yeah. He's... Uh, maybe he'll be good in later sets. I think right now, if you're playing double red, you're probably going to lose. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I hope someone proves me wrong and builds an amazing double red deck in set one. 
oil open fire. I've seen a lot of this governor too, I feel like. I think you'll like playing with her. Yeah. I've also seen a ton of these Emperor Legions. When it was first spoiled, I tried testing it in a few decks, and it can be fun, you know, if you get to like draw three cards. Um, but it, it's been pretty niche for me. I pretty much always wanted a disparate card, so I pretty much always resourced it. Fair. A nice Death Trooper. Yeah. Another Electro Staff. Got a lot of Electro Staffs. That, I mean, it was a card that I wanted three of for the Chewy deck, but like... Three, not five. Yeah. Another ISB. I'm pretty sure I've already seen one of those. Callus and a Foil Snow Trooper. Attack and ATAT -AT suppressor. Another, another one of those. It's nice. A foil Jabba. That's the first Jabba I've seen, too. Hmm. I think you got a place out of Chimera, though. Yeah? Including not, the hyperspace not, one. Not that you need to that. Jabba's interesting. I um, built a lot of Jabba decks. Trips. None of them have worked as well as I wanted. Yeah. That's another one of those cards, right? That as they release more tricks. Yeah. It'll go up in value. Another wolf. I think that's number three. I was actually excited there because I saw rare and I saw red. And I was like, oh, maybe it's one of the, you know, the top ones. Oh, here's a hyperspace pal. Nice. I do not have that card, so I'm going to peek at it. Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool with the extra artwork on the throne. Hyperspace Protector. Oh my god. <laughs> this freaking guy, dude. You got it in Hyperfoil now? Yeah. Uh, halfway through this box, zero legendaries. Zero legendaries. Another chariot. One one, there it is. I said something, and another hyperspace foil wampa. You got two hyperfoil wampas in there. I think so. It's a play set of home ones. Okay, that's not bad. Yeah, you do have two hyperfoil wampas. Yeah, you got two hyperfoil opening fires in mine. Finds all things and another one of those guys. I think I have one of those too. Yeah, yeah. Is this the same box? Same box is <laughs> what? I don't know. <laughs> We've opened two of the same hyperfoils. Yeah. Is this, just, is this just the duplicate box of that one? Hopefully, if it is, it's the one that had Vader in it. <laughs> right. But. I mean, I think, no, I don't think the Vaders came with the home ones. Yeah, maybe the last one did, actually. I think it did, yeah. 
Yeah, but the command, I think, was in here. So it might have been this, 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 and this. Oh, you're right, you're right. Yeah. And this one, I think that Vader was in the second box. And yeah, there's another Hyperspace Vanquish. That's nice. Another Fetz Fire Spray. Yeah. Another takedown, foil takedown. It was a useful box. Or a useful pack, at least. Yeah. Oh, what just happened there? There's a Alart Leia. Yeah. I haven't gotten a Devastator yet. Another super laser blast. Hyperfoil Mon Moth was pretty cool. Yeah. Cassian is rare. Mm -hmm. Hey, well, that's our third red three, so yeah. I think one of them's foil, which I would probably trade down. No, I don't want foils, I don't think. But. It's interesting. Originally, I thought foils would be worth a little bit more than they are, but it seems like nobody really wants them. Yeah, I mean... Much. So they're worth a little bit more than the regular one, but yeah. it doesn't seem like a ton more. I mean, to people that are just cracking tons and tons of content, it feels like, because, I mean, look at the difference between the amount of foils yeah. and hyperspace that I'm getting. Uh, and honestly, the hyperspace, to me, looks nicer, you know? So yeah. the hyperspace foils, obviously, are going to be in demand, but... Swamp. Hey, this is our first energy conversion lab, actually. And that, that's a cool foil, the overwhelming brush. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. That's good that you got an energy conversion lab. That would have been brutal. Yeah. Not I mean, that. three three packs from the end of the the case, and not having one of those is kind of weird. Another Java. I've seen a lot of that card too. That doesn't seem great. No. Alright, this is the last pack. So we could uh, could have another two legendary box, which is wild. Rare and uncommon. Wow. You got three two legendary boxes? Two, I think. Right? So it was. Oh, well, this was a box. Right. This was a box. Yes. Uh, I think this was a three and this was a two. Yeah. And then this was a three and this was a five. Yeah. I think that was the breakdown. So it was five, three, two, three, four, two. So it's still six, nine, eleven, fourteen, nineteen. Yeah, it's it's low. It's like right over the three per box, right? We we hit one one over. Yeah, that's not it's not amazing. At least I got two Vaders. Yeah, two, but, two Vaders is the highlight for sure. Yeah, the, the Hyperspace Force Lightning is nice, but it's not an expensive card. Um, two Falcons. Aren't the Super Laser Blasts a little bit more expensive than they probably should be? Yeah, they're like 14 or 15. Mm. Apparently they're good, and I just haven't figured it out yet. <laughs> it's, a, it's a tough card to play, and... 
not have like you spend all your resources and they don't just like refill the board and destroy you yeah i mean if you're playing it into avenger i get it that uh, oh super what? laser into the next turn avenger yeah but, i mean i think but it... what if you super laser and then they play you wing reinforcements and drop three units you're, yeah you're just as dead <laughs> yeah I, I think you have to hope that when you're playing it they have like one card in hand so even if they can play the card and it, like hopefully it's not a ewing um so they refill the board I, they can't like actually refill refill the board right but yeah it just feels like you're only playing it if you're behind and then the end of that turn you're also behind <laughs> unless you're playing an avenger to kill the one thing that they played true yeah it just feels niche to me What other thoughts? Anything else? We, uh, we, I mean, we got some sleeving to do. No, I mean not right this second. But um, how many of the rare hyperspaces did I walk away with? Three. The rare leaders. Rare leaders. Rare hyperspace leaders is what I'm actually looking for here. Yeah, so we got Han, Han, Hera, and Pelt. For the rare ones. It's not bad. Yeah, I don't know. I, I have to make a decision now how to try to fill in the gaps here, right? Because, like, a Vader and three Bobas is a pretty big yeah, gap could, to you fill. You just buy another case or buy more boxes. Yeah. You do... I mean, if, if you play a lot of tournaments... Sealed and stuff? Well, a lot of, prize, a lot of stores are giving out prizes you know packs for packs prizes, prizes yeah. right so sure i've probably got i don't know i mean excluding pre-release right because all the pre-releases were giving out packs for prizes excluding that i've probably got 10 or so packs and prizes for even the money. cheapest deck though like the sabine deck i like hard missed on the rares for that deck no k2s yeah, no you, you need k2 yeah and the, that event, right? The, yeah, for a cause I believe in. So I'll be buying something. Yeah. Either more more sealed or more uh, a bunch of singles. But at least I I will say like this isn't great, but like I didn't walk away with like I know people that pulled four mace windus out yeah. of a case, and I know somebody else that pulled four black ones out of a case, right? So yeah. you know. <laughs> You got it's, two haters. Part, yeah, part of it is like, to me, the point of open and sealed stuff at this point in the game is like, yeah, you're looking for the big things like the Vaders and the Bobas, but also like all of these other cards that are like 10 bucks each. Like, you know, if I want a full play set and I'm going to pay $10 for them. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thanks for letting us join you. Yeah. Good times.